Hi, this presentation is on DMF that is drug master file in drug regulatory affairs. Drug master file or DMF. It is a submission of CMC information of API that is chemistry manufacturing information of active pharma ingredient or component of a drug product or formulation for example any new excipient used in formulation for regulatory review DMF is simplest way of providing API information to regulators without disclosing confidential information for example technical know-how or intellectual property information to public or other commercial firm that is DMF can be submitted to FDA without disclosing the technical know-how about the API to other commercial firms API information may be included either in IND, NDA or END applications or it may be included in DMF and DMF may be referenced in these applications IND is investigational new drug application, NDA is new drug application, ENDA is abbreviated new drug application or generic application so API information may be included either in these applications themselves or api information may be included in dmf and may be filed separately as dmf and that dmf may be referenced in these applications in europe dmf is called active substance manufacture file or asmf in japan dmf is called master file who has named dmf as API master file in India generally US DMF format is used to submit confidential information now coming to types of DMF in USA basically five types of DMF in USA type 1 is for manufacturing site or facility or manufacturing plant and this type has been discontinued by FDA no more used by FDA type 2 DMF is for drug molecule or its intermediates or starting material used in manufacturing of drug molecule type 3 DMF is for material used for packaging of drug product or formulation type 4 DMF is for excipients, color additives, or flavors used in formulation manufacturing. Type 5 DMF contains information which cannot be submitted through type 1 to type 4 DMF, but FDA discourages use of type 5 DMF. So there were originally five types of DMF in USA, but currently only four types are active. Type 1 has been discontinued, which is about information on plant or manufacturing site, because this kind of information on plant or manufacturing site can be easily obtained by FDA field investigators. According to FDA, maximum DMF application are of type 2 DMF applications, that is, DMF for drug molecule or API or intermediates or starting materials. More than 65% of DMF applications are of type 2 DMF applications. There is no requirement in USA for submitting DMF. And it is voluntarily submitted by applicant.
Now coming to review of DMF. When DMF is submitted to FDA, there is no active review undertaken by FDA unless DMF is referenced in IND, ND, or TNDA applications. DMF will be reviewed by FDA with these applications, with IND, ND, or END applications when review of these applications happen. So DMF will be reviewed with these ND or AND applications review when DMF is referenced in these applications and which contains a letter of authorization from the DMF holder. FDA reviewing chemist when he starts the review of DMF will request for DMF from the FDA central documentation room. Form or company referencing a DMF in IND, ND, or END applications must make sure that DMF holder has had a recent satisfactory GMP inspection by FDA. Otherwise, it will delay the ND or ENDA or generic application approval till there is a satisfactory GMP inspection by FDA. If IND, NDA or generic applicant does not produce API, then DMF of third party may be referenced by such applicant. Same DMF may be referenced in more than one application. That is, same API may be supplied to multiple companies. DMF applicant needs to appoint an US representative or agent if applicant is not located in USA. This will facilitate and improve communication with FDA. Usually two copies of DMF are submitted to FDA and once DMF is accepted after administrative completeness check, DMF is entered into FDA database and FDA will provide acknowledgement letter to DMF applicant with assigned DMF number and FDA will remind DMF applicant to submit any further changes as amendments and applicant will notify FDA of any changes in DML including changes in holder name and address at US agent. DMF applicant is also required to submit letter of authorization for each authorized ND or END applicant who is authorized to use his DMF. DMF applicant is also required to submit the annual report. Now coming to contents of DMF, DMF should contain all the expected and detailed information on API that regulators need to complete the review process. And this information includes a cover letter, administrative and technical information, information about CMC or chemistry manufacturing and control, name of the compound, API structure, its molecular weight, information on facility and process used to produce API or for quality control of API. The detailed description of synthesis process, including information on all raw materials used, the starting material identification, intermediates, finished product, information on reagents, solvents, catalysts used in the process, information on quality control of water or water quality, information on analytical tests used information on in-process and final product quality control, information on specification for API, intermediates and raw material, 
information on reprocessing steps and information on simple batch recall. Then detailed description of source of API and route of manufacturing API, whether it is synthetic or biological route. And information on impurities and impurity profile. Information on physical characteristics, including crystal structure, crystal characteristics. Information on equipment and machinery used in the manufacturing process. Address of manufacturers of API. Manufacturers of all purchase intermediates and raw material. Information on stability data. Information on container and closure system. Coming to changes to DMF, applicants need to be sure that they understand and comply with the current FDA guidelines and expectations before they initiate any changes to their suppliers or changes to processes used to manufacture or quality control of reference API. Usually, FDA has been very slow and relaxed tend to allow industry to implement changes to API without prior review by FDA. That's all in this presentation. Thank you very much.